What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today we're vlogging which means we're going to a locals and in today's video we're actually going to be going to upper hand again it was that last locals I went to with Dino and we went 4-0 we went XO undefeated in that locals and in today's video I was like you know what I really want to go back to that locals and have a good time except we're not playing Dino in today's video what we're going to be doing is actually playing Cyber Dragon I have a super saucy Cyber Dragon list and I really want to show it off to you guys and show off the power of this deck so to do that that, I'm gonna be going to upper hand and then we're gonna be playing locals and seeing how well this deck really does in today's format Now, you know me I keep it honest with you guys So if I get bodied you guys are gonna know I get bodied But I think this list is very very saucy if you guys do enjoy these videos though Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one We have a couple guys who are gonna be joining us in today's video as well Which is gonna be really nice But if you guys want to see deck profiles dual videos vlogs like this one Make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that now i'm excited because i'm here actually at the mall right now to pick up alpha and then i think we're gonna go grab richard as well and then we're gonna head to locals so uh, i'll see you when we get to locals all right so we made it to locals alpha's here with us today and alpha's actually gonna be playing Yu-Gi-Oh today let's go Yu -Gi -Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh! okay and um on our way we're gonna go inside right now but on our way there was a GameStop, so i stopped by they had these deck boxes for like two bucks they only had one so i only bought one i would have bought more though but yeah that's the update we're gonna go to locals now and play Yu-Gi-Oh! I need to pee. Guys, look at the sauce that Alpha's playing. One zone lock and it's over for you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Guys, here's a quick 30 second deck profile for you guys. It's not like, you know, everything. Oh, ulties. Uh, yeah, it is pretty much the whole deck. I'm not going to go in detail with this, but uh, we're playing like 15 board breakers because obviously we want to go second. We want to OTK with this guy. And then the extra deck, or the side deck here, is just more board breakers. And then these are going for first, of course. And then the standard extra deck that you guys are going to see, Infinity Nova, is board breakers, board breakers. So this is what we're playing today. I'm excited because this is the goo. I'm telling you, this is the sauce. All right, here's a couple test hands. Okay, that's not very... Oh, that's insane. That's insane. This is my test hand. This is my test hand. I'm going second too. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have two machines to do. I don't even care about Ash. Ash, we'll do it again. All right, guys, I'm going to head out for just a second here because it's lively as heck in there. Oh, they might just be calling round one right now, but it's super busy in there. I'm super excited. We're playing Cyber Dragon, like I said earlier, and I know a Rise Heart kind of makes it difficult so that you can't contact Fuse, but we're playing so many board breakers. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's go get in there and start around one because I heard my name. So let's get in there. I'm excited. Let's go. So here we're just shuffling up each other's deck. My first round here, of course, was against Fluanderies, and I was not expecting this deck at all, man. But game one, he makes a quick setup imperm is just really really powerful of course and i'm just able to go in for otk here i open the machine dupe and you guys are going to see we have like a full board which is absolutely insane now we're moving on to game two and in game two you guys are going to see he goes empin and then sets five after he just draws like crazy with these cards and then one of the cards that he set happened to be a harpy's feather storm which means obviously i couldn't play now you guys are going to see it here real quick you guys might not see it because i know it's going kind of fast but he ends up activating a second harpy's feather Storm on my turn, and, and from there it was kind of just over. I couldn't really do much. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. All right, so we're stepping out just because it is kind of loud in there, and I want to talk to you guys. But bro, that round one was kind of rough, bro. I was not expecting Fluanderies. Like I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought that deck was dead. Harpy's Featherstorm, two games back to back. So game one, I had game one. Game two, he had two of them. In our turn one, he flipped one, and then turn two, he flipped another one. So just unplayable there. And then game three he had the storm as well his board wasn't as great as it was in game two but storm is just such a crazy card the fact that it makes it so that i can't activate any monster effects is just insane and uh yeah honestly i wasn't prepared for flu i had a bunch of board breakers i had lightning storms harpy's feather duster i had a bunch of board breakers in my deck at that point but you don't draw them and you don't draw them it was still a great match and i'm excited because we're going into round two now and i was looking at my hands i'm gonna be honest with you my hands were really really good and against any other deck those hands would have been insane but the fact that i just couldn't activate any monster effects was kind of nasty to be honest with you we don't quit here we keep going and we go into our round two and hope for i guess a better matchup so here in our round two we end up playing against bestial dragon link and this deck is not really a great matchup for us of course because bestials can banish all the cyber dragon monsters we have in our graveyard the issue though wasn't even that here uh, you guys are going to see that i basically don't open a monster we're just sitting on set cards i have an abuse to stop his plays but he's still able to go into hieratic seal and it's just way too much for me so i end up losing game one here we're siding here now to go into game two and game two does go a little bit better for us 
So you guys are going to see that he's going to be able to set up his board. It's all good. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be able to open all board breakers. And that's essentially what this deck wants to do. You want to open board breakers. You want to be able to clear the boards. Now, once you're able to clear the boards, you guys are going to see I go Clockwork Knight. I go Core. I search the Fusion. We have Machine Dupe. And now we're able to pretty much break an entire board and then set up our own board. But we're also going to be able to push for enough damage, especially with the Fusion in our hand, which is absolutely insane. Cody's slapping me right now, but at least Alpha's calm <laughs> away. I forgot clock game one. Okay. He's comboing. So game three is about to commence here and honestly I was feeling really confident about game three but you guys are going to see that I actually end up not really opening a great hand at all and Cody plays it absolutely insane here because he's playing around the evenly matched, he's playing around lightning storm, he's playing it very slow which is really nice here. Now Clockwork Knight is really good because it makes it so that none of his dragons are dragons which means he can't go into Hieratic Seal, he can't go into Striker Dragon so we're just playing a slow grind game at this point but you guys are going to see the only card up on my side of the field is the clockwork knight literally i cannot draw a monster to save me i can't draw a core i can't draw a hers so there's literally no point to stopping him from making his combos because he's just able to kind of slowly poke me down while i'm not being able to do anything now here i make a chimera tech fortress finally because i draw a monster but it's not enough because of all the mysteal cards he ends up popping my back row and i lose the game um, is fine. Set one and yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna set you guys up over here now. I think it's a little quieter so we can talk to you over here. But uh yeah, we just finished our round three. We're currently one and two on the day, which isn't great, I'm gonna be honest with you. But in my defense, uh this deck was built to beat Kostra and like Branded Despia and those kind of decks. And then uh today we played against Fluandries, Bistial Dealing, and then Naturia in our round three. I don't think I got any footage of our Naturia round, unfortunately, so I'm gonna explain it to you guys real quick. Game one, it was a back and forth but i had the nibiru which was really nice and it kind of broke his whole board which is like really powerful honestly and then uh, i didn't open great he didn't open great either after that so he was top decking and i was just attacking with nib and then uh game two he opened pretty well he was playing around nib but because he played around nib he didn't make nat beast and because he didn't end on nat beast uh he didn't have a spell negate and i had nib in hand so he played around it which was really powerful but i had a dark hole in hand so i ended up breaking his board with a dark hole and then i was able to otk him so that was really powerful cyber dragon i still think is a really powerful deck even though our record doesn't say that because you know again it's supposed to beat the meta but we're not seeing any meta anyways um i'm gonna play out our round four hopefully i get some footage of our round four to show you guys because this way you guys can see more than just me talking i haven't had any notable pickups for the day you guys know me if i get any cool pickups any trades i like to show you guys that but i haven't had anything notable yet so if there is anything that comes up i'll let you guys know as well but i'm excited because our round four is about to start and uh i think there's like 30 seconds left on this club round and then the round four is gonna start so let's see if we can go 2-2 two -two on the day so we're into our round four here and we actually end up playing against Sword Soul. He goes normal summon Moye. I have the Imperm for it. He's still able to combo. He's ending on a Blackout and a Chi Shao, but I have the Dark Hole. But again, it's just not enough because I didn't draw a monster. And when you don't draw a monster and he ends up going all the Bastille cards, you know, it's it's kind of tough. I'm not going to lie to you. Game two goes a lot better here. We end on Infinity with Cyber Dragon and he just decides he can't play around it. So we just go straight into game three. So here I'm feeling a little bit confident as well, but you guys are going to see that he's still able to create a full board even through an imperm as well i opened the dark hole which is nice because i'm breaking the boards my issue with this is that i'm literally not able to draw a monster here which you guys are going to see so i end up losing just because i'm literally not able to open cards to end up otking him even though he's not playing much i can't do anything either all right so i realized i forgot to end off the vlog and um we ended up losing our last round to what did we lose to what was hamza playing sword soul Sword Soul. We ended up losing our last round to Sword Soul. It was a really close match, but um, we lost in three. So to celebrate a losing day, we decided to get food. Guys, if there's one thing I've learned in life, it's to celebrate your losses with food. That's why we went to Oikini after I lost my virginity. All right, guys, I'm just gonna end the vlog off here because we're gonna grab food and then there's another locals we're going to. So you guys are gonna get another vlog right after this vlog of another locals but we're playing a different deck so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and with that spanko alpha and richard signing out peace